right, that's a really cool little guitar lick. And I was inspired to, to do this little lick um, by one of my favorite bands, Paramore, who are really hot right now, by the way. And um, so I'm just going to teach it to you. This is going to be like a, a simple beginner finger picking lesson. And I'm going to show you it's really simple chord pattern. It's like a, a you know, it's only um, three notes that you're playing in this. And, and you're going to learn a little bit of easy finger picking. So the chord is pretty simple and the finger picking is pretty simple. So what I'd like to do right now is bring the camera in closer on my hand so I can show you what I'm doing and you can learn along with me. Right now, I'm at the seventh fret of my guitar. So that fret marker there is the seventh fret. And let me just preface this to say that this little chord picking thing, you can play on any fret, okay? You don't have to be stuck to the seventh fret. You can play it on the fifth fret or wherever you want. Okay, so to begin with, I just want you to do a little mini bar chord right here on the seventh fret with your first finger. So just lay your first finger down across the, the G string, the B string, and the high E. And this is kind of like preparatory to get you used to playing bar chords, but since it's against the, the high strings and it's just a half of a bar chord, it's not really that hard to play it. And you're actually not even going to be using all those strings anyway, or all those notes, because you're going to use your third finger. So just... Lay your first finger down and pluck it once with your fingers. Get rid of your guitar pick because you're going to be using your fingers. And just pluck those three strings right there with your first finger there. Get used to that. Okay, pinch it down with your thumb. Pinch and hold. And then for your next note, I want you to place your third finger on the ninth fret of your G string right there. So you're going to hold that bar chord and you're going to place your third finger right there at the ninth fret. Can you just do that? Just do those three notes. The G string, the B string, and the E string. Okay. I, don't worry too much about what, what your right hand is going to be doing because we're going to show you that in just a minute. Okay, so let me just show you the chords real quick. So that's one of them. And then the other one is to add your pinky right there. So what, where am I, where's your finger going? <laughs> it's going on the ninth fret of your high E string right there. So it's pretty much, it's parallel with your third finger. So there's your third finger, there's your pinky. So we want both of them down. You want to leave your third finger there and place your pinky down. And keep your first finger there, that doesn't move. The only finger that's going to move is your pinky. So you're going to go from this one, lift your pinky up, there's your other chord. There's your first chord. There's your second chord. That's it. Okay, that's really easy to do. You could do it on any fret. Now we're going to show you the right hand and what kind of finger picking pattern we're using for this. Okay, so here's what it sounds like. So for this finger picking pattern, I'm only using three fingers, my thumb, my first finger, and my middle finger, because I'm only playing off of three strings, my G, my B, and my high E. So my thumb is going to be used, played on my G string. That's going to be your G string finger. Your B string is going to be played by your index finger, your first finger. And then the high E, you're going to use your middle finger. So you've got one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. So I'm starting with my first chord that I showed you. The um, one way you, you use your pinky actually is the first chord. So play the chord where you use your pinky, and then we'll start our pattern. It goes like this: thumb, first. I have to get it right. Okay, so it's thumb, first, thumb, middle. First thumb, middle, first thumb, middle, first thumb. Okay, so let me show you again real slow. It's thumb, first thumb, middle, first thumb, middle, first thumb, middle, first thumb. So right, it's thumb, first thumb, and then you do the middle first thumb three times okay so long as you remember to keep which fingers plays which strings right your thumb on the g string your first finger on the b string 
your third finger on the E string. Those three strings, so only, and then you just do the pattern. So let's do the pattern again, only let's this time lift your pinky up on your left hand and play the other chord. Okay, there's the second chord. So let's do it again, same pattern. Thumb, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb. Now you go back to the other chord. Put your pinky back down and do it again. Thumb, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb. Now release your pinky and play the other chord. Do it again. Thumb, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb. And that's the whole pattern, just repeats over and over and over. So now that you've learned the pattern, why don't you play along with me? We'll do it together real slow. So start with your first, first um, chord with your pinky. Here we go. One, two, three, go. If you like that, and if you're a big Paramore fan, um, Next Level Guitar just got licensed to teach Misery Business, which is their number one hit. And if you click the link to the right of the YouTube video, you can go to the website right now and get it for only $9. Two hour instructional DVD that breaks down and teaches you Misery Business. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you.